tired or did you feel forced to quit because you have a disability and you weren't able to get the help from your employer that you asked for? You have rights. This is illegal under California law. The government has created laws to make sure you're able to continue working. You know you can keep working, you just need a little assistance. This is one of the most common cases that we take on at Strong Advocates. Our clients often have struggled from a disability. They've asked their employer for a little bit of medical leave, perhaps a desk to help them be able to work, uh, a flexible work schedule, small breaks throughout the day, and then instead of providing those things that the law says you're required to be provided, they've been fired. Oftentimes what happens is our clients have gone on a long or even a short medical leave of absence for a couple weeks, a couple months, and then right after they get back or a couple weeks after they've returned, they're fired for some bogus made up reason. If this has happened to you, know that this is illegal and you have legal options. I wanna give you some tips on what you can do right now. The first thing is to create a timeline. Write down everything that you can remember from the first time you remember that your employer knew about your disability or your medical condition, any time that you remember asking for a reasonable accommodation, who you asked, what was said, Write everything down now while it's still fresh in your head. Even a month ago, these details can easily be forgotten. The second thing to do is make a list of people um, who might have witnessed the discrimination or perhaps were also victims of similar discrimination. Maybe there are people that used to work with you but they left a long time ago or people who are continuing to work at your job. Just make that list and make sure you have the phone numbers and contact information because that might help you later on. Another thing you can do is get all of your medical records together. That might be medical records specifically related to your disability or your doctor's notes asking, justifying your leaves of absence or other reasonable accommodations that you've asked for. And those might also include any kind of therapy or psychological records that you've had. And then finally, contact an experienced employment attorney. As Strong Advocates, we've done a lot of work with people who have been fired because of a disability. I used to be an exclusive disability rights advocate and attorney. So this is an area that's extremely uh, close to my heart and I'm passionate about helping people in these cases. We wanna to talk to you specifically about what happened and what your legal options are now, um, specific to your case and your circumstances. As Strong Advocates, we want to make sure that we help you get your dignity back, that dignity that those employers tried to rob from you. My name is Betsy Havens and I'm the lead attorney at Strong Advocates.